Alright guys, we're back with My Starcraft Arena number 6 and we're in the final round. We have our previous King of the Hill, Asus Nurture, now going up Millennium's 4GG. And 4GG has a chance to win, uh, let's see, math on stream again. 700 euros now. He already has 300 in the bank and if he wins against Nurture, he gets 400. If Nurture wins, he goes home with 400 euros by just uh, winning a single best of 5. Let's get started here. We are on Secret Spring and here we have him, the winner of this previous series versus Majestic um, with a 3 to 1 victory. Let's see if he can pull it off again. He is Millennium's 4GG. And his opponent spawned as the Red Zerg here at the 2 o'clock position on Secret Spring. He is Asus Nurcho. GHF, old friend. <laughs> Maybe they haven't played in a while, I don't know. Have fun, student. <laughs> okay, we'll, gonna, we'll see who's gonna be the student and who's the master. Okay. OGG probably gonna pull off his trademark style again. Go for early aggression and expand behind it. And, well, I don't know what Nurture's current style is. I think the last Nurture games I casted were mostly ZVZs, so I don't know what he's playing in ZVT these days. So we'll have to see what they're pulling out now. For GG. Going for Gas after X. And we have Hatch first, of course, for Nurcho on the way. And getting uh, getting both of his overloads into position. This one is gonna make its way over here. Gonna stay right on safe, uh, right over on that latch, or uh, chasm rather. And the second one will move over and um, could probably, yeah, over here in this position. And we'll get to scout out uh, the main base and see when this expansion will be taken. Which it should be soon. Um, we'll see what 4GG uh, plans on doing here, but I think it should get out pretty soon. Now he's gonna go for a Reaper opening. Maybe apply some pressure to Nurcho. And Nurcho himself uh, going for the spawning pool, not risking anything. No triple hatch before pool, any, any of those shenanigans. He's gonna play it safe, hatch before pool, and then we'll have defense at home once that Reaper gets there. Should end up um, having four Zerklings and that Queen, or at least a Queen, to defend against the Reaper. First Overlord already getting in position. And for now he can just stay there and be quite safe, but he's right at the edge here, so once he sees a Marine he can still move over and still stay safe. And we see a Reactor coming out of 4GG, so this looks really similar to the last game versus Majestic. And the Reaper will come in, we'll get to see... Oh, Zerkling's coming out! So... I think with the second set of Zerklings, he can take out the Reaper. Oh, nice kill! A little bit uh, lackluster play here from Nurcho, but... He will force the Reaper out eventually, once he's on creep again. Oh, getting another Zerkling! And this might actually mean the death of one of these drones. Uh, if you can't save it. Oh, okay. there comes the save. And the queen comes out. So that reaper is at least out of here. Maybe dead meat. We'll have to see. No, he should get away. Should be fine. Second queen also has spawned. And Nurture is going for two additional queens right off the bat. I like this. I like the multiple queen play. Really like having... Uh, five or six queens available. Um, we'll see if Nurture goes that high. I, I highly doubt it. It's a little bit of an investment. And there's the swap. Going for Hellion production here pretty soon. And then we'll try to deny the creep spread by Nurture. But for now, I mean, uh, Nurture doesn't really um, doesn't really have to fear anything. This is a very narrow choke point for these Hellions to get into. Oop. Overlord uh, has been scouted and will get forced away here. Second over one, the Overlord was also forced away. So, Nocho kind of deprived of vision, but he'll move him back in in about a minute or so just to scout out what 4GG is doing. 
Oh, Reaper comes in and is forced away again. Yeah, not sure we'll start that creep spread. Get it a little bit further up, and this is a really defensive move, already going for that spine. But I think he did scout... nope, he didn't see any of this yet. So, we'll have to move in again. And he didn't see an expansion just yet either. So he's just playing the most safe, uh, the most safe he can. And this is just getting a lot of spines, getting, uh, getting a single spine and getting a lot of queens. So he's just really flexible to deal with anything that 4GG could throw at him. And even this even this Roach Warren for now is defensive. We'll have to see how many Roaches he puts out. If he turns out more than 10, um, uh, could dictate his style a little bit too much. Well, uh, that's, that's to be seen here. First, 4GG is gonna try to make a move happen. Oh yeah, there's the medevac with a uh, reaper and six marines. But uh, he basically wants to get this kill and by that uh, won't get any more pickups. And the medevac is taking so much damage that there really isn't all that much he can do. But I mean, one more free pickup on an overlord, that's, that's a really nice move. Rosalion just sitting at the edge of the creep. Uh, denying creep spread is also really cool. Ooh. Nurture should move this Overlord back, actually he might take too many losses here. Oh, the Roaches are coming out. Are they enough to deal with this Hellion Onslaught? First Hellion goes down, second one, ooh, they're low but not quite taken out. He needs more Queens to deal with this. And that's the second, over, uh, second Hellion going down. He doesn't have any Queens over here. Nice block off, but it's not gonna be enough. More, more drones are going down. The Roaches are being blocked here a little bit. Needed a second round of roaches to just do this little ring around the rosy to deal with these hellions, but nope, that's the next one going down. We'll have to see and look at the resource loss if this was worth it. Um, that show a little bit behind on workers, and oh wow, what a follow up! The banshee is coming in now, and it's gonna get a kill on the on a queen here at least. Oh nope, the observers are there. Still, he should get at least one queen. We'll lose the banshee for it though, and. That counter harass will do anything. It's not too many roaches for Nurcho. Let's have a look at the resources lost. Well, about even. Still, um, if Nurcho doesn't do anything with this, oh, there's an Nidus Worm. No reaction out of 4GG yet. He sees it, but he's not reacting. Now he's moving over, and this should be sufficient. Yep, he's gonna get there. And this Nidus Worm was can. Well, a few roaches get out. Oh, actually, a lot of roaches get out. Sh could be enough. If he gets a second Nidus over here, yep, there's a second Nidus. Oh, this could be enough. The workers are coming in, and workers deal quite well with roaches. And buy a little bit of time for these Hellbats to do something. Okay, there's the next Nidus. I don't think it's gonna do all that much. I don't think it's gonna do all that much. 44 workers for Nurcio. Uh, 42 workers for Nurcio, 44 for 4 GG. But really creative play here by Nurcio, I like it. It's producing more queens might start creep spreading from that and then also going for roach speed upgrade so staying on roaches for now just piling on the pressure onto Nerd, uh, onto 4gg and now with those hell beds uh, the banshees needs to watch out keep that overseer alive but um well we don't have anything that shoots in the air so that's that's a given and the hell beds will be surrounded here but it's a little bit too few roaches so most queens will go down um, so he has a lot of overseers, he doesn't have anything that can actually shoot up in the air. And now Cloak isn't even needed anymore for 4GG. Another knight is coming out. He will probably pull workers here pretty soon. There's a little bit of time and is probably preoccupied with fending this off. But yeah, this is not going to get finished either. Or it will, but it's not going to pump out too many roaches. Still, this is just getting onto 4GG's nerves. I like it. He's not doing all that much, but just keeping 4GG in his base, not applying pressure, and well, the thing is, he's not doing uh, he's not doing any uh, macro game behind this either. But he's gonna kill off a few workers here, and this might be worth it already. Yep, 4,000 resources. Well, no, nah, not really. He's losing one and a half thousand more. Doesn't really have a good supply advantage, um, neither in workers nor in the army. 
So, well, in the end, this is just playing around with 4GG, and if he could have gotten this expand up way sooner, it would have been worth it, but now 4GG could make a turnaround and just go in with a lot of Banshees, uh, go in with Hellbats, with Blue Flame, and kill Nurture off right off the bat. He's just gonna do this all day long if he wants to. <laughs> okay. It's weird, but hey, maybe it works. Banshee comes in. And does a bit of damage. <laughs> okay, changeling. Interesting. Uh, Queen's getting picked off in a second, and yeah, that was that was a given. Once the siege tanks get out, this tactic just fails right off the bat. And that's the 1-0 for 4GG. Getting on his way to um, another 400 euros to add on top of his already impressive 300 euros, so that could be 700 euros in the bank, or, um, well, let's see, if he wins two more games, that's uh, three games for this one, four games for the last one, seven games played, so that's 100 euros per match. Um, well, I don't earn that kind of money. Um, that'd be kind of great for a 4GG. But I mean, Nurcho, he put on a nice style, maybe, maybe he's gonna try something different this time, maybe he's just gonna try a standard game. But these guys have played each other before um, quite a few times. We'll, we can check out their illegal luck, um, their legal luck scores. Give me a sec here. Or GG. Oops, there he is. And Nacho, Nacho, there he is. Show me the future. Um, score versus each other. An advantage for 4 GG. 11 to 8. That's the sc current score. So 58 win percentage for 4 GG. Um. Historical score is a little bit better for Nurcho. Score versus opposing race also a little bit better, but I mean 4GG currently on fire. So ready, everyone's ready. Nurcho go. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Our next map will be Catalina. So yeah, Nurcho, maybe maybe he's going for standard now. But it could have also been just a a way for him to cope with the fact that he knows that he doesn't have a chance against 4GG. We'll find out here. Because here he is, our winner of the first map playing for Millennium. He is the Blue Terran 4GG. And his opponent playing for Team Asa spawned in the 1 o'clock position here on Catalina as the Red Zerg Nurcio. And, well, I wouldn't be surprised for 4GG to just go aggressive once again and get on the nerves of his opponent. Because that seems to work out really well. Solid micro, uh, solid ideas, and at least in Europe, at least against foreigners, he can pull this off and he can pull it off in almost every match. So. Kind of like the god of foreigners. Can you call him a foreigner now? If if uh, he's just living, I think he's in France, right? I think he's still living in France. Okay. Well, Nurcio, uh, probably gonna go for hatch first again. Not well. I mean, anything else would probably be suicide here. Yep, it's gonna be hatched first. Um, we hatch before pool again on Catalina. You you can try it, um, but I think especially against 4GG that will probably just kill you. Oh, you're probably better off not doing that at all. <laughs> okay, overlords have been sent out. First scouting position is empty, so I think he's gonna turn this one around, get in the nice position, and send the second low overlord. Um, Probably somewhere around here to scout out the gases. And the first one will get over here and is in a quite safe spot on this side. And Nurture, uh, 4GG will get an early advantage with a pretty much perfect scout. Reaper is being produced here and he took the gas behind it, so probably see that reactor once again. And then just uh, barracks pressure. Um, Barracks, factory, getting a few Hellions out, and going for pressure once again. Um, 
first bunker being placed down. And it's been scouted a little bit late here by Nurture. This is a problem if you send their second overlord um, down right away, right off the bat, then you might miss this bunker being built. But two links are on the way, two more queens are on the way. And he's just buying himself a little bit of time. There are the more drones to stop this bunker from going down, but uh, I think it might go down. He's not losing anything so far. Of two spores right off the bat, and oops, this drone will be safe as well. And there are the links. SCVs get picked off, so Nurcio is just fine. We'll lose a few links here or there, but uh, he stopped that bunker from going down. Saved all of his drones. Uh, ooh, second Reaper, third Reaper being produced behind this. Nurture going really aggressive and expanding behind this. No react this time, going straight for the factory. So that uh, bunker definitely needs to be stopped. There's a second SCV coming in, and that bunker gets finished. That could spell doom for Nurture. Okay, saves another drone here. A few more links are coming out. Four links. So he might need another queen. If he gets a second queen up here, um, he can deal with this, but. That's three Reapers, no more, no less. So he definitely needs a second queen. Because with a with a micro that 4GG is putting out, I think he can keep these Reapers alive all day long if he wants to. Really good micro, really good control. Okay, bunker finally picked off. Reapers will make their way into the main base. And now there's no creep threat quite net, so um, the queens will have to stick around. Oh, there's wow! Interesting move by Nurture. He's decided to just go for it. That's probably not gonna work. And Hellions are on the way. This is probably gonna kill a whole bunch of links. And let's see, do we have any kills on these Reapers yet? Oh yeah, three, two, not bad at all for two Reapers. What happened to the third Reaper? Did he lose it? Or did he? Yep, he lose. He lost it. Hellions are out now. Links not doing anything, and they're getting cleaned off. Yeah, definitely not the right move here for Nurture. He should have kept those links at home. He now is scouting off the Reapers, getting rid of the Reapers, and then um, that would have saved him quite a bit, quite a bit of hassle. And once again, or GG is going for the Banshee opening here, getting cloaked, getting the first Banshee out on the map, and just applying pressure with the Hellions. Uh, this time, no Marines to to help out, but the Marines shop has been taken over by those uh, by those uh, Reapers. Nacho uh, will try to get his creep out a little bit more, but now with the Hellions coming in... Ooh, and they're just running past all of this! And it's only Queens to fend off! It's four Queens, so if he places them just right, but oh nope, all the drones are lining up. He might get most of these Hellions, yep, just a single Hellion surviving. But the Queens are just taking way too long, and now the Reaper is moving in! to add a little bit of a cherry on top here. And he's getting quite a few kills. Hellion already has five. And that Reaper up to six kills. He's a corporal now. And looks like at least that Reaper should get away. The Hellion might not, but ooh, now they actually can. And down here we'll probably have... Oh yeah, that's the second Hellion coming in. Wow, 4GG. Just doing such a good job with his harassment. He will lose these Hellions now, but hey. They killed so many workers. 20 workers killed at this point. And that means Nurcho, um, he just had to eat a whole lot of his macro. And there comes that Banshee once again. This might be an instant GG. Um, we'll have to see. Overseer is out. He has a couple of queens available. Four queens. He might get to clear this off. Um, yes, I think he will. But still, 4 GG, he, had, he did so much damage. And Nurcho. He's just pulling that same card once again, and it's getting scouted. Nidus has been seen by 4GG. And there's only a few roaches available for Nurture anyway, so... This is not gonna work. This is definitely not gonna work. Does 4GG have any vision over here? Yes, he does now. And... Yeah, pulling SCV straight off the bat. Oh, come. Okay. Should've watched out, those mules are really not needed here. But hey, uh, split second reaction time, you really need it, and... Doesn't want to risk anything here, so Hellbats are coming in. We'll deal with those few roaches and queens quite handily there in a nice concave. And there's the GG. 2 0 for 4 GG. Well on his way to win 700 euros in this My StarCraft Arena number 6.
some really quick games that he's churning out here. I think Nurcho might just cheese that next game and completely give up because, I mean, by playing the same style two times in a row, it just seems like he doesn't have an answer to whatever 4GG is pulling up, um, yeah, pulling up here. Okay, final map, or possibly final map. I mean, Nurchi could still turn this whole thing around. Maybe he has something special planned uh, for one of these maps. But it just seems like... Uh, um, it just seems like he doesn't have an answer to 4GG. If he's starting with the uh, with weird tactics and not going macro style or um, his usual play style. Okay, our next map will be Vani Research Station. Everyone's getting in there. Everyone's readying up. And we're about good to go. OGG is ready. What about Nurcho? Nurcho is ready. Just waiting for our mod to leave. There's a GL Jeff. Let's go! So, if 4GG takes this one, um, it's 700 euros in the bank for 7 matches. And, um, well, he took about less than 2 hours, 1 and a half maybe. So, it's a really, really good uh, hourly wage, I gotta say. Okay, let's see if he can pull it off. Here he is. Spawned as the Blue Terran on the 6 o'clock position here on Vani Research Station. Up two games. He just needs to take this one game to win 700 euros. He is Millennium's 4GG. And his opponent playing for Team Asa. Spawned on the 12 o'clock position on Vani Research Station. Red Zerg. Nurcho. And once again, 4GG leading 2-0. Would not be surprised to uh, see Nurture go for a 10 pull here or something, something weird to just try something. <laughs> or maybe he's gonna give it his all. And what is 4GG doing? I think he's just gonna stick to uh, to his regular plan here, just applying pressure. Uh, maybe once again with Reapers. It's about the same uh, rush distance here, so I think he could actually do it. But he's definitely just gonna go for a straight mark style. Apply some pressure, expand behind it. Or, well, I mean, for this last map and the one before that, I mean... In TVP he expanded behind it, but here he just seems to be content with applying pressure. Maybe he just knows no Nurcio too well. Nurcio going for hatch first, as expected. A little bit uh, of an earlier refinery timing this time. Let's see if it's gonna be the one 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 again, but I'm I'm thinking just Reaper opening into Banshees once again. Uh, I mean it worked twice, why not try it a third time? Why change never change the running system, right? And Nurture also not changing anything for now. Uh, hatch into pool. There's that Reaper coming off for 4GG. Is he gonna follow it up with a second one? Mm. I don't know. I'm not sure. He might be. Or he might go for an earlier factory. Just go for a single Reaper. I think pulling off the Reaper aggression with uh, more than one Reaper in a row is is not as useful, so I think he might just go for one Reaper this time. Okay, nope, nope, he's doing the same thing. Thank you. Same thing twice. And this time Nurcho will have a few links available. The first Queen is already getting pushed out, second Queen will get right into the queue here. Yep, there's the second one. And maybe more links. If he's scared, he knows it's just a single reaper, he should be fine, but hey, he hasn't scouted the ramp just yet. And reaper coming in. Needs to watch out a little bit more, because this time he can't really escape from this. Uh, he's a little bit trapped up down here. And looks like he can get away, but ooh, stay off creep, man. And there comes the jump down, waiting for that second reaper to come in, and it's almost on its way, so there it goes. It's a Reaper meeting, Reaper party. 
Time to reap some souls. Zerklings have souls? Philosophical questions. Late at night. Oh, that's another Zerkling down. And can this, creep, uh, can this Reaper get away? Yes, he can. And, well, Nurture's not falling for it. There are no more no more Reaper follow-ups. Set for GG, going for double command center. He's gonna see this. We're gonna see the swap here. And he's gonna go into right on. Right on Hellion production. Here comes the tech lab. So maybe. Maybe a later Banshee, but I'm thinking more along the lines of, of Metavax and uh, just regular bioplay. Because it seems like he wants to play a little bit of a macro game this time around. Nacho again going for. Oh, jeez. That Reaper just splattered. And the second one. Oh, gets away. Barely. 12 hit points. But yeah, Nurture is playing again really, really safe. Going for the spine crawler. Uh, he's not scouted yet. I mean, he could just save the spine and instead sacrifice an overlord into the main. But I think he's not doing it because he knows what 4GG is playing. He knows that it's always this aggressive style, this um, alien aggression at the front and possibly drops in the back. But it would be kind of nice to know if there's a drop incoming. Okay, good scout for 4GG. Sees the timing on these geysers. And I don't know if he... Has he seen... Nope, I don't think he's seen... Oh yeah, he has seen the layer on the way. And once again, we see a Roach Warren. Probably a defensive Roach Warren, but I mean, in the first game, in the second game, he's tried this... Um, yeah, this Roach aggression with... Um, with Nidus Networks, so why not do it again? Okay, sees what's going on here. Bioplay coming out. And the second Overlord might get over in here. Not, not quite yet. Aliens doing a good job just keeping Nurture on his toes. Keeping him from taking that third base, but I think not for long. He will probably go for it pretty soon here. Oh, a little bit of a fake out. Uh, did he cancel the Roach Warren? Yeah, he cancelled the Roach Warren and is now going for Spire. Nice move. Spire and Double Evo coming out. I mean, with such a late Double Evo, um, the upgrades are going to be coming in quite a bit later than usual, but I mean, 4GG hasn't gone for any of this, these shenanigans either. Still, he has a pretty good bio production on the way now. Four marines coming out at the time, or five marines for now. So, the timing window for Nurture is tiny to make something happen, and his, his third hatchery is so incredibly late that he can't really throw anything away, so this has got to work, and it has to work on the, fir uh, on the first try. Nurture has quite a few overloads all over the place. Just nothing on the left side. He scouts everything out on the right side, but nothing on the left side. It's kind of weird. He's sending most of them over. Um, I don't know if he has a specific plan for this. Baneling bombs? <laughs> Not seen those in ages. And, well, there's 4GG moving in. Right now, Nurture not really in a good spot to defend this, but he has a few links available to at least block the ramp and buy himself a little bit of time to get his queens on top of the Hellions. And it works! Gets all but one, and that one will get cleaned off. I think he might have seen the Mudas, though. Has he? We'll see. Is there an eBay out for him? Um, yes, there are. Double eBays, and yeah. He's seen them now. Going for a missile turret in his natural, and one in his main, or is there? I think there should be. Nope, he's not building it just yet. We'll probably build it soon. It's only four mutas for now, five mutas. And siege tanks are out, so uh, he can fend off any stray zerklings that might attack his third. And with only five mutas, Nurture doesn't have anything, any good harassment potential with these few mutas. Plus one is on the way, um, plus one flyer attack that is, and also plus one, plus one melee and armor. Here comes the centrifugal hooks. We have a little bit of a drop here into the main and nerd or into the natural and nerd show doesn't have any units available just yet there are the mutas coming in they're getting focused down quite swiftly and all of these marines are surrounded looks like none are gonna get away the money back might get away yes it will and he sees that single drone so he knows okay gold is probably gonna go down pretty soon for nerd show 
still looks like this will go into a little bit of a later game. Maybe this this could be the start of a comeback for Nerd Show. Going into macro games, trying his macro Zerg style. I mean, he's he's already well on his way. Um, the Mutos are now not going to be used for all that much harassment, but rather picking off Medivax and maybe going into production line, picking off stray units. Ooh, yeah, more Medivax for you. Free Medivax. Ah, cool pickups. You will need an Overseer pretty soon since mines are being thrown into the mix. He's going for the plus two attack upgrade for the Mutas straight away. Also plus two, plus two is incoming. And he's just buying himself a little bit of time, get his fourth base established, possibly a fifth base really soon. And um, he's gonna play macro, macro Zerg. And he's, I think, in a good spot. We have uh, plus two on the way for Nurcho. Plus two missile, uh, plus two weapons and armor. But he's still on three bases. Uh, I mean, he has a decent army. He lost a few Metavex, but he's just gonna rebuild those, add more Widow Mines into the mix, and then it all comes down to how Nurcho handles those Widow Mines. A little bit of a drop attempt here on the left side. Nurcho going for a fifth base. I think that was cancelled. And he's not gonna get the pickup here. Or will he? Oh, he might, yep. Cool, easy pickup. Not sure, definitely in a really good spot right now. Might need a little bit more gas if he wants to show out these uh, these mutas like it's no tomorrow. Oh, can he get us around? Yes, he can, but no banelings in the mix just yet. There they go, 13 banelings on the way. A little bit too late, maybe. 4GG, is he gonna preemptively split this? He should. Oh, he's just gonna pick up and leave. It's a free... A free siege tank for you, but maybe a dad natural for Nurcho. It's gonna take a while to get there. Oh yeah, this is gonna do some damage. There's the first stim. Couple links are coming out. But no bane links just now. He's picking up. Oh, he's gonna lose the medevac here. But quite a, quite a few mutas are going down as well, and he did lose the space over here. Oh, Nunachio just throwing away the Mutas. Should have split his Marines over here. But this was also costly for 4GG, and there are still Widow Mines over here. Not being dealt with what whatsoever. And wow, yep, a lot of links, a lot of Bane links going down. Nunachio needs to produce these Bane links before the fight happens. Oh, yep, now he listens. Now he listens. Drilling claws are on the way. Ooh, nice pickups again for Nurcho. It's kind of keeping 4GG's army low, but he's still sensing fewer and fewer res um, reinforcements and just picks off individual bases. It kind of reminds me of Bomber. Um, maybe not quite as good of a micro, but um, uh, macro, but still, he's always, always aggressive, always sending units across the map. Oh, these guys might get picked off finally. But still, really good engagements. Losing, uh, losing way too much to these Widow Mines. And half-hazardly, I mean, he just needs an Overseer in the mix to, to clear him off, but he hasn't produced one yet. Maybe that's just the way he does it. Or does he have an Observer and just not with his army? Nope, he doesn't have an Observer. Doesn't really want to use it. Mutus might get in there, but there's already two missile turrets, two more being produced, so... Uh, they're not gonna do all that much. Oh, maybe if they get a cancel here, yep, that's the first one, but those three will get finished. So he's gonna go for some free supply depots, but 4GG, he's just going for the doom push on the left side. And, splitting us up, going back, trying to defend his main base. I mean, he knows if production is gone... I'm I'm in trouble, so he just sends a small force over here to take out the space. Still has some really good widow mines over here, which could help out to save these units. And then sends his entire army back, but I think these mutas actually did some good damage for Nurcho. Or GG. Uh, losing 25 workers. Quite a few mutas did go down, but uh, I think this was an okay okay thing for, for him to happen. But he did lose his base once again, so Nurcho down to three bases. And Yudas don't fight well against this army. He needs to force a fight, possibly on creep and with only few units like this. This is, this is pretty good for Nurcho. 
for GG, retreating back into the Widow Mines once again. Um, Nurture doesn't have any vision on these Widow Mines, he needs to send individual links in there to trigger them and then go back. Okay, Command Center will be picked off. Nurture always adding in a few more Bane links here and there. And getting those stray units. Should get this one picked off as well. He needs to watch out with his Bane links. I think he knows by now where the Widow Mines are. But I mean, this is this is just killing him. Single individual Widow Mines that are just denying this base all day long. This one will come in, will get picked off. He's not going to know why that base never built. And I think this is just screwing with his mind. 50 more Bane links are in production. Is he finally going to go for a base somewhere else? He's producing one over here. Okay, 4 g just needs to place another window mine down here, and then he'll be in trouble. Oh, he finally cleared them off. One on the right side. Oh, jeez. That was a bad hit. That was a really bad hit for Nurcho. 4 g is recuperating his losses, slowly but surely. Um, building more command centers. A little bit unfortunate for him that he lost that one, because he really needed those mules. Income-wise, he's still in an okay spot, about 1,700, so compares to Nurcho. But Nurcho is now going for Hive Tech, and for GG, still... Um, well, I mean, he has 3-3, he has a few Thors in the mix, but he really needs a 4th base. He denied Nurcho's 4th for quite some time, but he also mined quite a bit beforehand. And yeah, I think this is an okay, ch okay exchange for him. 3-3 three, three Marines, doing quite a bit of damage against these Mutas. And whoa, that's another hit. Nope, just killing a few Zerklings. That's alright, that's alright for Nurture. Finally clearing that off. And not losing too many Banelings. And ooh, 4GG needs to watch out. He's basically walking into a big, big fat death trap. Oh, Widow Mines have been triggered. Only losing a few Bane links. Oh, that was a good Widow Mine hit though. Nurcho, can he get the kills here? Those are so many Bane links. I think that he's gonna get it. Oh, he's gonna get some nice STV kills here, that's for sure. And 4GG retreating back into his base. I think this might be Nurcho's way to come back, but it's not make too many early calls here. There's a little bit of a drop here in the natural. Uh, but it was almost mined out. Nurture just producing so many banelings. 70 more banelings are in production. These guys are badly overstimmed and only a few medivacs are available. Six medivacs, that's not a whole lot here for 4GG. Still, he's pushing Nurture back and anytime he can get him away from his base uh, is a really, really good engagement for him. Okay, these guys should have been picked up a little bit earlier. Because now they're going to for sure get picked off by these Mutas. At least he's saving a few Marines. Yeah, could have saved could have saved the Medivacs. Just relentless aggression from 4GG. He really needs a third and fourth base again. He starved in the natural, uh, starved in the main. And I think this is his last attempt to make something happen, but he's trying to do it on creep. Oh, a perfect Widow Mine hit, getting all of the Balins at once. Oh, jeez, Nurcho, you're throwing this away. Or GG was on the back foot, but I mean, with those Widow Mine hits, he can definitely come back in this game. Is he trying to expand again? I don't think he is. Oh, can he get another one of those really good Widow Mine hits? Oh, that triggered. On the Mutas, a couple of uh, links are making their way over here. Long distance mining for GG is not gonna like this. And Nurture is definitely in a better spot right now. 600 mineral income for 4 GG, 1600 for Nurture. And Gas also speaks about the same story. For GG is just digging in. He's going for trench war. Trying to lure out individual units. And there it goes. Nurture coming in from all sides. This is a swarm right on top of 4GG. And this time the Bane Links will hit. There is no rescue. 4GG. Oh jeez, he can always keep a few units alive. But it's, it's not gonna end here. It's not gonna end well for you. It's about time. 4GG, you need to type out. And there it goes. 
Nurcio starting his comeback, possibly. One or two. But that's something we've seen, um, well, three times in a row now. Um, actually, fourth time, but uh, the first match was a little bit different and we only saw the end. But hey, I mean, Red went 1-2 um, versus Majestic. Majestic went 1-2 versus 4GG. Uh, so, Nurture 1-2 versus 4GG and then 4GG closing it off 3-1 just to make ends meet. Uh, Highly likely, but we'll see. Nacho must be quite fond of himself now. That was a really good game for him. I mean, uh, this would have looked really, really impressive if he didn't lose so many use, uh, units to these useless Winter Mines. I mean, he could have cleared them off way sooner. Still, must, must feel proud. Finally win a match against 4GG. Okay, everyone's ready. And we can get started. Next map will be Inferno Pools. Our fourth map in this last round of the My Starcraft Arena number 6, Nurcho vs. 4GG. Alright. What is Nurcho gonna play now? I think he's gonna stick to Macro Zerg. To survive the onslaught from our blue Terran that spawned at the 4 o'clock position here on Inferno Pools. <laughs> uh, he's playing for Millennium, it is 4GG. And his opponent spawned as the Red Zerg playing for Team Acer in the 11 o'clock position. He is Nurcho. And he just won that last match. Needs to win two matches in a row if he wants to take this. And go home with 400 euros. Or lose out horribly to 4GG. Will walk away with 700. Doesn't quite make that um, 100 euro per match deal now, but hey. Um, gotta give it to Nurture, that last game was pretty epic. And yeah, um, I think that Nurture will try to um, play a safe early game and then go into the macro game again. That ha has worked quite well for him. And then maybe find a better, de better deal, uh, a better way to deal with these Widow Mines. That was um, the only shortcoming I saw in that last game. Uh, that the Widow Mines just cost him way too much. Uh, delayed his fourth base from going up time and time again. And also helped for GG's pushing attempts. So that's definitely his biggest shortcoming in ZVT, at least versus 4GG. And 4GG, going for quite, quite early gas. Thinking he's probably gonna go Destiny Cloudfist once again, going for 1-1-1. We'll see. First, the Reaper will come out, he's gonna uh, scout out all these expansion, possible expansions, or possible spawning locations for Nurcho. And Nurcho going for the pool, not getting gassed just yet. So also playing the macro, uh, macro style, but not really greedy style. No triple hatch before pool, any of those shenanigans. There goes 4GG also putting down a command center. Not she gonna skip the links? Nope. Going straight for two links. Makes sense. Uh, I mean, he's seen, he's seen these reapers in every game now, so he needs to react. And a little bit of a sooner gas. Okay, reaper comes out, scouts the one o'clock position. Sees okay, no one's there. I'll check the other one. And there we go. Factory being produced, we see the reactor already going down. Probably see a swap afterwards. And then maybe Widow Mines, maybe Hellions. Um, I'm thinking Hellions. And then that factory might produce Tech Lab, and we'll see a starboard coming out. But that's still up for debate. First, Nurture will realize oh geez, I have a Reaper in my base. 
no links at home, but hey, as long as you have queens and you keep them on the move, you're just gonna be fine. And there's more queens coming out for Nurcho. He's adding two more just to have a little bit easier job creep spreading. Well, the Reaper might do a little bit of damage. I highly doubt it though. He's just gonna be content walking out there, seeing okay, gas have been taken. Oh, Lynx might their way over here. This is a nice move. He saw the starport. We'll see the swap. Uh, or he didn't see the swap, but he can imply that there will be a swap. And the Lynx denied this command center for a little bit. So, nice little delaying tactic for Nurcho. Definitely a really good move for him. And wow, Nurcho, what the heck are you doing? Okay. Going for a crazy early layer. And I don't think 4GG has seen it. There's two queens over here denying any scouting. And double gas. Looks like uh, early Muta is coming out of Nurcho. But I mean, he's played, uh, he's played these roaches in the first two games. I mean, that would also still be an option. Roaches and another... Another attempt at putting out a Nidus Worm, which I don't think will work here. Okay, there's a Tech Lab. He's producing a single, st uh, producing a single Medivac, and then I'm um, probably, yeah, we'll probably see a swap here. Stop a will move over, and then the Banshees will come out. Let's see. Yeah, that's about to happen. Okay, there's the first drop. I'm gonna drop these Marines and move in with the Hellions at the same time. Over here, the Reaper is still alive, so he could jump back in there, but it's kind of hard. I mean, right here on the Infernal Pools, it, there's a wide open ramp, but for a Reaper right now to get in here, highly unlikely. He'll probably get picked off on the way. He did see this drop shit coming in, so he knows all about this. Might send a single queen over here, but I think for now, he's, uh, he's gonna be content with the, just sticking around uh, at the front. He knows, okay, Hellions could, al could always come in. He's not quite seen them. Now he sees the Marines are coming in. And Hellions as well. But with that spine, the Queens, and 18 links coming out behind this. There's first Transfuse going down, second Transfuse going down. Doing a good job keeping these Queens alive. There's the next one. And the links are coming out. They should be able to deal with this drop. And doing a really good job. You might actually get the Medivac here. Really nice defense here for Nurtio so far. Few more Hellions coming in, doing a little bit of damage in the natural. The main is being evacuated and Nurcho not losing all that much, but the Hellions are still active. Got a few more kills. Medivac has been picked off and now the Hellions are getting cleaned off as well. And she could do a little bit of a better job maneuvering these Queens. That there are more and more Hellions streaming in from all sides. Seven units are in production. 4GG has scouted all of this out. He's still going for his Banshees. And finally, the last Hellions are getting picked off, but the Banshee is coming in. So these Mutas might not even matter. First Overseer comes in. But Nurcho already down to 24 workers. So many workers killed here. 19. Overseer will try to trap this Banshee, but nope, that's not happening for now. And the Mutas will go over there and realize, okay, geez, he already put up three missile turrets. One in the main, one, uh... One in the main production, one in the main, one in the natural. Just as expected. Some people just um, stick to two missile turrets, one in the natural, one in the main. But I think the one in the production is actually really important. Losing a tech lab at this point would hurt 4GG um, even more than losing a four few workers. Yeah, even this one, uh, he should save this somehow. He doesn't have uh, all that many units right now. None, to be honest. Still waiting for that Thor. Really he doesn't want to lose too many workers at this point, so he's just going to be content losing this eBay. Oop, yep, and that's the Mutas walking straight in between these towers, not finding that sweet spot where they can't be attacked. Now, second Viking is out, and he can clear him off. Ooh, this one is a little bit to the side, but with the Thor now out, and Vikings, and Missile Turrets, yep, these Mutas should get the heck out of here. And what is Nurture doing behind this? Just droning up, droning up heavily, going for the plus one. Not going for a third just yet, I think that's something he should definitely think about. Because OGG is just gonna dig in. He has a lot of turrets already, he has a few Vikings, he has Thors. And behind this, going for a command center and will try to move out. 
and uh, get that established as soon as he can. Get a few missile turrets out at the new location at the third. And once he has that, he's gonna be safe for that. And Nurture needs that third base and possibly fourth base as soon as he can. Oh jeez, he saved the ma he saved the Banshee. Not bad. Uh, Muda's not really finding their way in, but he's not sticking to Muda's. Going for the infesta uh, infestation pit behind this. And plus one missile upgrades. What are you thinking about? You wanna go Roach Hydra here? This is really weird. Roach Hydra Swarm Host possibly? I don't know. This is something you could try against. Oh jeez! Losing these mutas a little haphazardly. Another muta going down. Only four remaining. So these mutas are not gonna do anything against, uh, against 4GG now. This is a pretty strong army moving across the map for uh, 4 GG. And that's another Thor that's coming out. It's gonna take a while to get there. And behind this, he's going for a double command center, so he's gonna have a whole lot of uh, mules available. Swarm hosts are coming out. So, 4 GG needs to hurry up. Four swarm hosts are not gonna mean the end of this push, but he needs to react to this. It's gets, if it gets to 8 or more, um, he's gonna have trouble dealing with this. And right now he's not in a position to... Um, well, oh he's already reacting. He's already seen something. He's already seen something that put him off. He's going straight for mech. I mean, he was kind of forced into that route um, by going for so many vikings, but hey. Yeah, he sees a swarm host. Uh, Vikings being picked off here a little bit, but hey, he has, he has a few Banshees behind this. So they're just catching fire, and now he will try to focus the Swarm Host, but he's missing a scan here. Has he realized that he's facing off against Swarm Host yet? Doesn't look like it, he's not reacting at all. And we'll lose quite a bit here. Banshee will go down, or should go down at least. One, yep, they're turning around. We'll lose that second one as well if he's not turning around quickly. And, whoops, going, going to work on that Overseer. Nurture can stick around here, for a little bit longer at least. And for GG, come on, he's just getting started. Up to five factories now, he's still sticking around with Banshee production, which I think is, is a okay job. Nurture didn't produce too many Overseers in this previous game, so it's a good idea to react to these little things you, you see. And just keeping true to Thor production, Hellbat production, going for the upgrades, um, going for the plus two upgrade, if I saw that correctly. Yeah, uh, plus three, rather. No, that's plus two. Okay, alright. Plus two. Um, Blue Fame is not yet available. The Banshees, they're working away at this four, the third base. If this is denied one more time, this is costing Nurcho so much. He can't really pull off the style that he's playing. Um, if he doesn't get more gas soon, because then he's just sticking to way too low uh, swarm host numbers. A 10 now, and he needs more hydras in here as well. Just the cancel and the deny on the drone. This one was denied as well, and 4GG still has that Thor over here. He'll probably retreat out of there. Oh, there's an Idus. Some really good creep spread. What the heck is Nurture doing? And it hasn't been scouted yet for, for GG. This is interesting. This fourth has been running, or third rather, has been running for a while, so he's getting some crazy income. 2,600. The Swarm Host will sit in here pretty soon. Too bad they don't have the, the Flying Locust upgrade in, in this version of StarCraft. Otherwise, he could jump straight into the main. Maybe he's played too many matches with those. And so far, Fortigy has not realized that this is happening at all. He's gonna be in for quite a surprise here. And Nurture, he's moving on up. No creep spread so far, but that's a lot of swarm hosts. Needs to watch out that these hellbats don't get on top of him. Oh, uh, yep, that was a little bit too close for comfort. He's gonna lose one or two swarm hosts here. Next round of Locust is available. Is it gonna be enough though? Uh, looks like he can clear this up. The Thor's in the back. Still available. Siege tanks are coming out now as well. I think with the siege tanks, 4GG is going to be able to make it. And there's the GG! 4GG wins this 
Ah, Starcraft Arena number six takes home 700 euros and yeah, wins with a three to one, just like the previous two series we saw. So congrats to Millennium's 4GG. Not sure, trying a little bit of a weird tactic in the first two games, a macro style in the third game, and then again a little bit of a weirder tactic. But I like I like the style. It could have worked, um, but 4GG reacted on time, went over to Mac, and um, I mean they he kind of tipped him off in the beginning too. <laughs> So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the cast, and if you did, please uh, leave me a follow on facebook.com slash gxxshock, or t on twitter, uh, twitter.com slash gxxshock, and well, I'm streaming on, I'm usually streaming on Twitch, so uh, you can also give me a follow on twitch.tv slash gxxshock, 